AG Labs, my name is Ben. Hello and good morning. Welcome to the Micro Soldering Show. Today in the morning, which is start by an iPhone 7, which was uh, shutting down from one to the other moment, and the customer had no function anymore at all after that. So we will have a look where the problem is and if we can solve this. I just need to get my tools like every morning and then we can start right away. Okay, my tweezers. This looks nice, so I think we are ready to take off. Okay. Let's go to the on-hands camera and let's see what about this device. Okay. Let's see, if we connect the phone, okay, we get about 380 milliamps of current flow. Let's disassemble the device and have a look where the problem is. Okay, somebody already tried to, to change the battery. <laughs> looks, looks really nice. The battery without a logo, without anything on it. So, no clue under the battery. Let's see. No. Oh, what's that? No clue. Just a little bit of clue rest. Man. Okay, that's not the right way to to get a battery into a, a phone. Battery is bullshit too. So I get out the rest of the clue here. Okay, and then I want to get out the screen and then I go to power supply and let's see where the problem is. Normally when I, when I read the phone was shutting down from one to the other moment, it was getting hot. I think about a short on 3VO NAND or VCC main or RAM. So we get on this and we have a short about 800 milliamps. So could be a VDD boost short. This was the line which I forgot to tell you a minute before. So let's see under the thermal where the problem could be. So we get out the board. Oh man, it's early in the morning. What are you doing, Andy? Baseband. Baseband on an eight. iPhone 8 iPhone 7, okay. Why do you do the baseband? Oh, it's a it's a it's a it's a Qualcomm, but it's a Qualcomm, yeah. And why the shield on the front is already taken off? Huh? Oh, okay. <coughs>
So now we just take out the board. And let's see by terminal. Everybody has his own way to do diagnosis. My way is always check up the terminal and see what's happening. Yeah. It's VDD boost like I like I thought. So I take off the clue sticker at the back side. I will renew it later. Probably a fast video in the morning. You see VDD boost here. I will get it into the video later. And VDD boost short on an iPhone 7. You see it beautiful capacitor shorted. Okay. Now we go straight under the microscope. And after I have finished that, I will do an iPhone 6s CPU because of no image, because of broken MIPI lines. And you can see it here. This capacitor looks not good. Just exploded one. <coughs> and we get it out just a little bit of flux hot air and tweezers these are the tools we need for getting this fixed for getting this job done Okay, capacitor out, a little bit of flux, oh, we have to take on our JVC. Why are you so early in the morning, Andy? Oh, it's not early, it's nine o'clock, okay. I was a, a little bit later today. So, we get the capacitor in. Capacitor has flown away. Here I got it. And again, what up? Capacitor wants to, to fuck me up, but not a problem, we, we do it again. What a morning. Capacitors are flying away. They don't like me. They don't like me today in the morning. And again. Done. Contact cleaner. Just clean the board. Push with a wipe. And now it looks like 
nobody has ever worked on this board okay so we take out the board of the preheater go straight to the on hands put on the screen cable and let's try okay looks like the screen has an error too because the value at power supply was okay I reconnect the screen and we try again and boom we are back to life again with our iPhone 7 after just a little short on VDD boost so the phone couldn't boot anymore at all it was just getting hot and no function at all so we got the important data now the phone is working full again and that's really just a fast job 10 minutes not a big video but the last days we had a lot of longer videos so I think it's okay one day with a with a video just a little bit sh uh, more short okay so you see I just don't have connected the ambient light sensor but it's fully working again okay if you want to learn things like that easily you can do that at the board level repair school germany and if you're working at a repair industry for smartphones and tablets it would be nice if you would join our facebook group smartphone repair group germany but please answer the questions otherwise we can't accept you as a member <coughs> i hope you like the video give me a thumbs up we see us with the next one boom back to life again goodbye here's ben